While on a recent trip to the Allegheny National Forest in Northwest Pennsylvania, I fished some of the state's most pristine waters in search of wild trout. From the large tailwater fishery at the base of the Kinzu Dam to the tiny native brook trout streams on the Allegheny Plateau, the forest holds hundreds of miles of stream trout fishing. I'm going to tie on the saddest Sally stimulator you've ever seen. I tied this thing. This was my very first one that I've ever tied and I didn't have the right stuff, so saddest Sally. Let's see what happens. I think it'll work. I'm tying a drag dropper and this gorgeous cut bank across from us is just screaming our names. There's a <laughs> So are the fish that are in there because we know that they're there. The saddest fly you've ever seen. We've got Mrs. Sally Stimulator on the top. Wee! Beep, 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 beep little dropper on the end. Ending the day with no fish. There was a older man who was fishing by himself that we were chatting with and he caught two and he was keeping them to cook for a party that he was having with him and his buddies, which I think is so sweet. But there are fish here, we just didn't grab any. We did have a hit, but that's how it goes. My second day fishing started in the classroom at the Kinzu Fly Fishing School. The classes are structured to allow students to participate at their own level while learning fly casting, fly tying, knots, and more. So lift tap, let it drift. Tap. Straight up. 12 o'clock. Stop at 11 o'clock. Keep that rod at 11 o'clock. So we want to do something else with it. Here. Here. That's where we get the tight loop.
such a good time fishing. I'm having such a good time fishing. I would like to think everyone else is too. I caught my first native brook trout on a nymph. Just a nymph with a couple split shot on it to help it sink. But it was really cool. And then I missed two hits. But it's just a process for me. I learned how to fish on dry flies first. So nymphing is a little bit different and you know, it's taking me a little bit time of time to learn. I was fishing with Christy for a little bit and it's cool to see other sportswomen out here too. She was awesome and very knowledgeable. And look at what I just found. I'll have to zoom in while I'm not holding it to my face, but it is a fossil of what looks like a seashell, some kind of crustacean, if you will. See that right there? Harvey stonefly. We picked up a lot of stoneflies when we gathered up, so that uh -huh. might not be a bad change up today. Cool. And then uh, we have streamers that they've, I know they've caught some fish on today. Cool. This one here. Was this the one in your presentation? Yes. Yes. We have that one. Oh, cool, and it has some peacock on it too. Um, Marabou peacock class. Yep. Yeah. Why don't you start, just tell us who you are, what you do, and what your involvement with the Kinsey Fly Fishing School is. Hi, my name is Steve Skabarka. I'm a partner with Carl Zandi in the Kinsey Fly Fishing School. Mm -hmm. uh, we started in 1994, and uh, it's the 25th year. Cool. Uh, starting out, we weren't sure we were going to get off. Uh, we asked the great fisherman, Joe Humphreys, if he would be willing to teach with us a day or two in one of our schools. Mm -hmm. He accepted, and this is 25 years later. Uh, we've been very successful. Uh, our mission, I guess, would be that we want to share the love that we have for this great game mm -hmm. with as many people as we can, and that's basically Joe Humphrey's for us. And, so it's, yeah. uh, and the more we can get people involved in this game, the better streams we're going to have, the more power yeah. we're going to have to keep our streams where we need them. Yes, I love that. That's So I do a lot of conservation work with great. Artemis. Um, and one of the things that I'm finding is just that the more people that you have on board, exactly. the more power that you have to make exactly. change and, you know, protect these places that we love. Exactly. That we're standing in the Allegheny National Forest and yeah. it's just, what a classroom and what a place yeah. to go when you're feeling down. Yeah, absolutely. What are the plans for the future for this school? I'm not sure. That's a, good question. Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, hopefully, we, we, we're just hoping we're getting older. Our whole staff. <laughs> and Joe Harvey is 89. Yeah. But and I told Joe the other day, uh, we're bringing you back as long as you want to come back. And, yeah. Uh, he's as sharp as a 65-year-old uh, mm -hmm. out here on the stream, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know uh, where or what direction we're going, but we're, we're just hoping to keep this going and uh, as long as yeah. we can. And we also teach a phys ed class in fly mm -hmm. fishing at Pitt for the past 25 years oh, cool. as a phys ed credit. And oh, that's, that's awesome. That's an exciting, uh, and it's, it's mm -hmm. a different setting, yeah. but it's also a, a great time. Yeah, that's very cool. Anything else, any other any other information that you'd like to get out there about the school or about getting involved in fly fishing? Uh, we're open to help anyone anytime we can. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, questions or whatever, we'd be very happy to contact me through our literature. Mm -hmm. and that, and yeah, and I can say everyone has been so kind and great. so helpful great. the entire time that we've been here. Let's go catch some more fish. All right, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Thank you. I have had so much fun these past couple of days exploring the Allegheny National Forest, fishing, all of the above. It has been so much fun and I hope you had fun joining along. Do you see these bugs? <laughs> Anyways, I've had so much fun and I hope you guys had fun watching as well. If you're looking for more information on how to enjoy the Allegheny National Forest, I will include links down below. Do check them out if you're interested. This is such a cool place and it really is worth visiting no matter where you're from or where you're at. <sighs> 
So before I get eaten alive, I'm out of here. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>